Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. Got an email here, email address if you have uh, questions, concerns, or would like to know how to do something in Xactimate. Uh, you can email me. Uh, I could even call you, but I, I need for you to email me. I don't want to put my name, uh, my phone number out there right now. But uh, <clears throat> so this is a eight part series on how to prepare to become an independent adjuster, and I'm going through from the beginning how to apply for uh, the adjuster Justin Field all the way to making an estimate and doing your narratives. So right now I am in number five of the series. Now <clears throat> number five was a little bit long so I broke it down into five parts. So basically right now what we're going to be talking about is adding outlets, switches uh, to, uh, to a room, fans, uh, water heaters and things of that nature. Uh, you would use this if you were in a flood or doing a large loss. So now what I have already posted on this series are this ones right here. <clears throat> so if you want to, so let's say, uh, let's say you want to uh, learn how to label photos in Xactimate, you could yeah, use uh, see that one. Now, I'm not going into real great, great detail, but I am, uh, I would say about doing about 60% of it. If I, if I went into real, real great detail, it would take weeks to go in and do what I'm doing right now. I think it's only taken me, and it's still going to take me a couple of weeks. But anyway, so, uh, <clears throat> so we're here. So let, let me, we're, we have been, con uh, this is a continuation. Right now, we're right here. So we're going to put lights, we're going to put fans. And uh, I'm going to, I want to get myself canvas. Normally, normally what I'll do is do that to give myself a lot of canvas. So I can enlarge and, you know, reduce uh, accordingly. Or let's say that I wanted to, uh, Oh, uh, so let's say if I wanted to bring this up, I, I would have a lot of canvas, right? Okay, so, um, but right now I need this thing to the left because what we're going to do is use this to put those symbols into exact, Xactimate. Okay, so right in here, I'm going to collapse that. Okay, so I'm going to start with my bedroom one. Uh, let's go all the way to the right, bedroom two. So I'm going to enlarge that to as uh, close as I can. Okay, I got my notes here. So here I got one, two, three, four, five, let me see, two, four, six outlets. Then I got a smoke detector, a fan, uh, and a register. So Let's, let's go ahead and, and do the uh, uh, outlets first. So the outlet is electric, so there would be E, L, E. And then so switches, you know, uh, uh, so we're going to put OS for outlets. So I'm going to click here. And so basically, I have a switch right, right here. I have one here. I have one. Oh, hey, you know what? Here, let, let me hit Control Z. Um, at first, I'm going to escape. I'm going to undo the last one, and I'll and I'll and I'll show you why. Okay. So, if you want to reference to this later, and let's say you you uh, you're back to your hotel or your office, and then you're like, okay, wait, what was there? So if you double click here, you know. I know what E L E O S stands for, but if you want it to, um, you can put a description there if you want. 
Okay, so let me see here. Um, so let me see, what I'll do is, uh, I think I got, uh, let me see. Uh, okay, so what I can do, I, I, I just type outlet, okay? That don't look right, let me spell it. Out. Now that's right. Okay, so now what I can do instead of loading it here, I can copy this into my clipboard, and I can hit Control C. Then all I got to do is hit Control V. Now, if I hit, so let's say I, I, I put or, uh, Control. Control V, I gotta hit the, see, it won't let me, okay, yeah, well, okay, so, <clears throat> now I would have to hit Control V again, right? So this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Control V, this time I'm gonna hold my Control key so I don't have to keep on hitting Control V, okay? Now, so I'm gonna hold my Control button, and I, I know I have one here, have another one here all I'm doing is clicking and holding my control and then there's another one right here uh, so we got two four six uh, we got two four five oh we have another one right here okay so uh, I'm gonna hit escape now I uh, that now I'll I can choose something else. Okay, so in in this same bedroom, I have a, a smoke detector. So a smoke detector is electrical. So E L E and S. There it is, smoke detector. So you just click here, and that guy goes right here. Now. You know, if you if you're dealing with um, with a flood, if you're dealing with a flood, it matters where your outlets are, because you're gonna pay for that outlet if it got water damaged by a big flood, right? So if you tell it, uh, let's say that you tell it it's one foot from the bottom, which they basically are one foot from the bottom, okay? But you, or let's say you put it at two feet and the flood waters was only one feet, then you wouldn't pay for those. So if you hit control three for 3D, you notice they're pretty low, which they normally are pretty low. But let's say that those particular outlets were 18 inches from the bottom. Um, so you could actually select all of them. Or, you know, at the beginning, uh, we would have, uh, uh, we would have changed the first one and, uh, and copy and paste that one. So I selected all of them. You see a small little red dot. Now I can hit shift enter or I can click on this right here, but I, I like using command. So I'm gonna hit control enter that opens up my um, my uh, properties and because they're all selected I could change them right now they're actually 18 inches from the floor and uh, and I believe mine are about that that distance okay so if I wanted to move them up higher three feet I could change them all right here okay so I'm gonna call, I'm gonna hit three, enter. Now when I hit three, uh, you see how high they are now? Okay, so let's hit Control Z and let's see if they and you see now they're back to the low, lower position. So I just wanted to show y'all that. Okay, so uh, I also have a register that's about right here. It's an air register, you know, where uh, your HVAC gives you air. Okay, so so 
right there is HVC for heating and air conditioner, and right there you have cold air return. Okay, so that guy is probably going to go right here, and then I'm going to escape. So in the room, in this room, I have a little light that's right here. So light would be L I T and your average light would be A V. Uh so light fixture. Now you could use standard, so it would be A V minus. Okay, that that would be your standard lights. So I will select here, and there it is. Now that gives me all my uh my electrical outlets oh no no how about my switch there's a switch so as you walk in the door there's a switch right here right so what's a switch it's electric e l e and s for switch uh it's not getting it okay so e l e uh, perfect let's see o s Oh, there it is. Yeah, OSS for switch. Okay. So, and if it was a three-way, you would select this. If it's a dim, uh, dimmer, you would select that. So, mine's not dimmer, but you know, uh, let's go ahead and select that. So, I would select it, and then I put it right there. That's that, that's exactly where my switch is, right? So I'm gonna hit Escape, but while it's selected, I can go to my preferences. So I'm going to name this switch dimmer. Okay. If I'm going to go through the trouble of doing all this, I'm going to make sure that I know what all the symbols are. And because uh, right, you know, as you're writing it, you know what you're doing. I mean, because you're there. Uh, when I'm drawing rooms, I have a computer. I have this little, uh, here, give me one second. Okay, when I'm out there in the field, I take this with me every to uh I, this is always in the back of my truck. I got two of them. One's a light one, and then this one is for so basically you know well, while I'm there, I'm drawing everything while I'm there, and you don't forget anything. <clears throat> Okay, so now there's nothing in the closet. So now from here, I'm going to go pretty fast. That way you, you can see, you know, how, how long it takes to, to, to do this. So now, <clears throat> so in, in my bathroom, see, now that I got the heights and all that stuff, um, I can select one of them and I'm going to hit control C then I can hit control V and put it so there's my switch now but here's the deal which is no big deal you see you can't see it you know why because that thing uh, the, the cabinet is higher than that switch Okay, so, you know, I could go in and, uh, you see, I don't know why in the world they put it one feet six, one feet six inches, you know, but it's about four feet if you, where you reach. So I'm going to go to four feet from the bottom and then have three. Now, you see, there it is right there. And before we couldn't see it because... 
the way Xactimate puts it in there, it puts it one foot six inch from the floor. Like I said, it's no big deal, but I want to be able to go in here and find it and say, oh, that's a uh, switch dimmer. Okay, so let's go to uh, 1D. Okay, so there's a switch there, but there's also an outlet right there. Okay, right next to this, there's an outlet. And that we're going to have the same problem with that outlet because it's going to be uh, lower than the cabinet. So, so you know, I could go in here, hit Control C, hit Control V, stick it in there. But before I move it, I'm going to hit Control Enter and go ahead and move it up to four feet. That way, when I view it, see, I can see it right there when I'm out there drawing I'm constantly you know hitting one and three one and three I draw it I hit three look at my 3d I look around and oh there's a there's a register oh there's a, a, a window so you won't forget nothing when you're doing it right here so so we know we need a, a light in the bathroom and also we also need a a vent and a register okay so uh, so let's go to LIT AV minus uh, would give us here's my light hey, oh wrong 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 escape okay in that particular bathroom it has a three you know in the wall there's three uh, a light uh, with three bulbs in it. So, um, so let me see. L, I, T, and then it's a three bar. So watch this. If you click right here, three bar light, and I'm gonna stick that guy right there. Okay, escape, and it's still selected. So I'm just gonna put three light bar. That way I know yeah, but you can see it on the symbol, but you know. And let me see how it looks. You're not going to see it on on 3D. You're going to see a, a round little thing here. Okay. Um. So we got the light. Now we need a register. So what is that? HVC. HVC for a heat electrical, and it is a cold air return. So we'll stick that guy there. And we also have an exhaust vent in the bathroom, right? So we're gonna put E L E exhaust would be an X, I think. Yeah, there it is. X. Exterior out. Oh, nope. Uh, e L uh, ex exhaust. Exhaust. Fan maybe. Let me see. F A N. There it is. F A N. So we'll put a little fan right there. So, I got some reference points. Actually, what it's doing right now, all of this stuff is being added to Xactimate. So uh, you wouldn't want to do this if you didn't want to uh, be putting stuff in Xactimate. So let's check it, check that out. So uh, Shift Control E. Oh, Shift Control R. Uh, let's go to. Uh, estimate you see on my bedroom it has outlet smoke detector cold air return light fixtures and those are the prices so you would only do this if you're actually adding um, oops let's go back to return to that and I'm gonna close this one the one on the left okay only if you're gonna put it in Xactimate let's take care of the um, bathroom now so we're gonna move this a lot faster now okay so I just was showing you some stuff okay first of all did this background I'm, uh, I'm gonna delete it I don't need it no more I used it to draw this so so the first thing I'm gonna do now I'm gonna uh, select one of my first outlets and I'm gonna use those because I know I like the uh, 
So I'm going to hit Control C. I like where the setting is, right? So now I've got a piece of paper here that tells me where all the lights are at. So uh, now we're going to do this real fast. So we're going to hit Control V, puts it, Control V, and then I'm going to hold my Control key. So um, starting at the computer room, I have one there, 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 I have one there. Uh, so there's nothing in the closet, but you go to the living room, we have one there, we have one there, we have one there, and we have one right there. Um, we also have one right here. We have one down here. Then uh, the kitchen is a little hard. Uh, I'll have to enlarge in the kitchen. Um, we do have one in the garage. Now, I'm still holding my key. I want to enlarge this. So all I got to do is use my wheel, and now I want to move around because I, I don't want to let go of my uh, control keys so that I can keep that on my pasteboard, right? So what's, now you can use your, so there's nothing in the garage, okay? There is, uh, I have an outlet right here, and that outlet is going to have to be changed. It's going to be the same one as the as the uh, uh, that other bathroom because there's a cabinet right there. Okay, so we'll put it in there for right now. Uh, we're gonna go down to our master bedroom. I have one. I have one right there. I have one there. One there. And on the other side of that same wall, we have one there. We have one there in the dining room. We have one here. We have one here, we have one here. Okay, so let's move over to the dining room. So, uh, and I use my arrow key to go that way because, you know, I'm, I'm enlarging and reducing. Instead of going up and down, I can control everything with, with my uh, keyboard. Okay, so uh, I've already added those two. There's one right here. Uh, there's a switch right here we'll have to add later, but, uh, so, um, let me see, let's go to the master bathroom, I don't have nothing there, um, okay, so really the, the only ones that now I have to worry about is the kitchen, so I am going to go to the kitchen, and in the kitchen, and those are going to, so before I even, I'm going to do one, and I'm going to copy and paste it. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to escape. And it selects, you know, it's still selected, right? So control, enter. And I'm going to go, uh, what did I say, four feet? My cabinet's four feet. So I'm going to say five feet, and let's see where that puts me. So I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to uh, hit 3D, and nope, that won't work, because look, see right there? It's no big deal, but, uh, you know, well, I'll show you something, actually, something different. So what I can do is I can select this guy. Look, I can just move him down. That's where the switch is. You know, I didn't have to go in and do it this way. I could do it there on 3D. Okay, so um, so I actually have uh, I have two of them. Okay, so I'm gonna hit Control C, Control. It's not. I don't think so. Let me hit Control V. No. Okay, so let's go to 1D. So I'm gonna click here. Control C, Control V. There's another one right there. Then you know. Uh, well, that's a 220 there, but I do have 
one right here. And then I have, uh, these are cabin trees, so there wouldn't be one there. But, okay, one thing in this cabinet back here, in the bottom, you know, you have your sink. There's an extra switch back there. So I'm going to hit Control V. I'm going to stick that guy right there. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, it's still selected. So I'm going to hit Control Enter. And this guy is real low to the to the to the floor. Uh, usually they're about mm, three, I'm, I'm going to say one inch from the bottom. Now when we hit 3D, we're not going to be able to see it because oh yeah, actually you can see it back there. You see. See, it's way below the sink, right there. Oh, the refrigerator has to switch, right? So, and it's, no, it's 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 the same as uh, the one and one and a half feet. So I'm gonna go 2D. Uh, so I'm gonna hit Control V, put it behind. Oh, there's another one behind the dishwasher too. Oh man, I almost forgot a bunch of stuff. So hit Control V. Okay, now that guy there is going to be, um, I'm going to just become a six for one and a half feet. And while I have it selected, I'm going to hit control C, control V. Oops. Control C, control V. That way it, it, it'll keep the, the same settings. There it is, one feet six inches. Uh, let's go to 1D and see what I'm missing. Now, I have electric range, so that guy is going to have a 220 behind there, okay? So that's important because that's more money. You know, if we owe it to them, we got to pay what's there. So let's go in here and see if we can figure out what a 220 electrical is. So we're going to say ELE for electrical. And then, so um, I think it was OS for outlet. And I don't see 220. So let me see what I'm going to do is I'm going to type 220 and see if I, there you go. So now there's a 220 volt outlet. Okay, so I'm going to click here and that guy goes right there behind the, uh, the stove. So you're looking now in, in, my, um, in my kitchen, I have those long lights. I don't have a regular light or, you know, uh, so, so, um, so let me see. So it'll be E-L-E and they're fluorescent bulbs. So it's either going to be F for fluorescent or B for bulb, light bulbs, or I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> F-L-O-R, fluorescent. Let me see what would be fluorescent. Let me see. Fluorescent, fluorescent. I got PFL. Okay, so E L E F L. Flexible. F L O R. Floor dispel. F L. See. Oh no. Okay, so let me see. It's not E L E. It would be lights. Okay, L I T and probably F fluorescent. Let's see, there it is, fluorescent. Okay, so uh. And I'll show you a different way to search for it. Uh, I try to memorize this time. You know, when I'm not teaching, it's a lot easier. I, I lose my mind when I'm teaching, but anyway. Uh, so you're going to click here. And because this is a special item, I want to make sure uh, I didn't do it. Oh, yeah, I threw it somewhere. Let me see. No. Okay. So. Let's do it again. So we know it's a, um, it is a light, L-I-T-F-L for fluorescent. Oh, 
FL for fluorescent. There it is. And I think I double clicked last time. So I'm going to click, hit shift, enter to get my, uh, my escape. I'm trying to deselect it. Okay. So I'm going to. I'm doing my program for fluorescent. Okay, so now, um, what else do I have in my kitchen? Uh, oh, whoa, I almost forgot a bunch of them. So, <clears throat> um, so we got a smoke detector here, right? Control C. I got a smoke detector as you walk. Control C, Control V. There's one right here. Control V, there's one right as you uh, control B as you enter into my uh, uh, master bedroom. That one don't belong there. Okay, so there's my uh, smoke detectors, but I got registers. Okay, my vents, right? Control C, there's a vent. In the, oh, I already put one in the bathroom. There are, let me see, one vent in my uh, computer room. My living room has two vents. So, and there, one of them is like here, and the other one's about here. My dining room has one, uh, my nook, control V, one there. Uh, there's a register in my um, kitchen there's a register in this hall oh I'm not gonna tap in my hallway there is a register in my utility room there's a register in my master bath and believe it or not there is a register in my closet and there's a register two registers in my master bedroom i added that later okay so um there's my registers uh let me see what else let me look at my notes uh my master master bedroom has a six the lights it has six of them in it so i'm going to put uh, so that's L I G H T and it's uh, six bars. Okay, so I'm going to slap it right there and escape. Uh, okay, so my master bedroom has a um, <clears throat> light fixture. And it's just a regular one, so L I T A V standard. So the master has one. Uh, my computer room has one. Uh, uh, okay. I hit the space bar. My uh, utility room has one. Uh, my <clears throat> living room has a different kind of light fixture. Uh, so, okay, so let's go to the Nook. The Nook, I'm going to hit escape. The Nook has a LIT and it's a hanging one. I think it starts with an H, hanging light. Okay, so you click there. Then escape. The living room. Actually, that one just has a regular kind of me. Uh, let me think here. Yeah, it's just a regular one. So L I T A V. Uh, actually, it's not. It's it's more uh, of a standard one instead of. Uh, uh, it's not. It's not A V minus. It's like A V. So I'm gonna put that there. Um, I got some chandeliers in my dining room and living room. Okay, so if I put LIT, I would say start probably C for chandelier. Here they are. Okay, 
and we're just gonna they're a, a little bit higher than standard so I'm gonna select I'm not gonna select a minus so I'm gonna hold my control I think I, I don't even have to hold the control key so there goes one there and one there okay and no other chandeliers no okay so I got my oh so in, inside the pantry inside the pantry there is just a really little light fixture in there okay so we're going to type lit av minus so i'll put that there and as you walk into the pantry there's a little switch there that i almost forgot so uh uh i can just probably copy and paste it from right here so control c control v no it's not a switch excuse me it is a uh, uh switch and we're not going to use that other switch because that's a higher end switch so let's go with um uh, what did i say switch would be electric ele i think it's os uh out uh, no switch would be yeah o, uh, os um so where am i where am i at entry so we'll stick that guy right there so as you walk in it turns the the light in there um we do have a switch right here as you uh a light switch here we have another one here in the garage uh i hit the space bar to move it instead of going on my uh arrow keys uh in my bathroom as you walk in there's a switch as you walk in my bedroom there's a switch um as you walk into the living room so you walk in right here to the left actually it's sitting right here it's a switch and then there's another switch right here in that pillar it's a switch uh, it's a three-way so that i think those those two are actually two two ways so i'm gonna hit Control z and i'm gonna put um ele for electricity os for switch and this is a three-way so i'm gonna select three-way a three-way goes there and a three-way goes here oh didn't do it oh it didn't do it to none okay okay e l e o s for, for switch three-way and one here all right keeps on uh disappearing Okay, E L E S three way. Let me escape. This time I'm gonna copy and paste it. Control C, Control V. Ah. Okay, so there's always more than one way to skin a cat. Um I think that covers everything but you know that gives you an idea uh oh well let, let, let's add some other stuff okay so let's say you're in the garage right here it's a little water heater that goes in between this little wall so so that would be plumbing elm uh water heater so i think a five is for a five gallon and a six is a five gallon water here let me see if that's correct nope so uh here i'm just gonna type water here and obviously i don't know my commands for water heaters uh water heater but that's just to detach and reset um okay water let me see electric water there you go electric water oh they don't have a 50 gallon 
So it is a H, okay, it's PLMWH6. Okay, so we'll put that guy right there. So you see, it doesn't fit in there, right? So what I can do, place it right there and just re just make it a little bit smaller because it doesn't matter because this is just a placeholder. Now it's still too big. Come on. Now it'll go in there. Oh, it still doesn't go in there, man. He's gonna have to make that guy real small. Okay, so that thing don't want to cooperate. Let's let's trick this guy here. Aha. Uh -huh. So there you go. One thing I wish that Xactimate had where you could inch things like, you know, and if anybody knows a way to do this, uh, email me. But um, I wish that I could use my uh, arrow keys. Like, for instance, here, let, let me go to uh, Word and uh, here, let me create a new document. You know, so when when you're, uh, let's say you insert a uh, uh, a shape, in which like this would be a like a, a room in Xactimate, and you see, how I can move it. See how it's moving? Let me enlarge it so it all. Okay, so I'm teaching other stuff. This is Word. So in Word, if you try to in, if you try to uh, use your arrow keys to go, move up and down. If you are in viewing it with two pages side by side, it won't do that. But if you click on, on like one individual page, then you can reduce and uh, enlarge the canvas. So uh, that's another thing I teach is Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, Acrobat, Professional, in, uh, InDesign. Uh, uh, Microsoft, uh, Dreamweaver, a, a bunch of other programs, but this is just, uh, but anyway, so here, look, see, I wish we could do that in Xactimate. If somebody knows how to do that, please call me and let me know. I would appreciate it. Okay, so uh, let's close out a word and let's view this at 100%. I believe we have everything. So I'm gonna scan it real closely there's my switches there uh, there's my bathtub there's my commode you walk in there's a switch you that switch I have a switch there for that light ah almost missed right in here there's a GFI and there's another GFI so so we're gonna put ELE I think it's G for GFI yeah mm, yeah Fault, yeah, so it's a ground fault, okay? So I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna stick that guy right here. There's one here, but before I stick the other one, that one is gonna be too low to the ground because there's a cabinet there. So we're gonna put that guy feet up in the uh, air. Let's see if that clear, Ooh, yeah, it cleared it. Okay, so now there's a, uh, Control C, Control V, stick the, uh, right there. I got my two GFIs, except that I do have a GFI um, in my bathroom down here. So, so I'm gonna delete that guy. Hit Control V and put a GFI. Uh, and so I lie down here because this guy's got to be GFIs so that can't be. The one at the bottom is not, but those other two are. So uh, I'm gonna delete that one, delete, delete that one. Come on, okay. Control V, there's a GFI. Control V, GFI, and let me see. Whoa. Control V, 
in the wall and let's see if it cleared the cabinets that's a little too high so i'm going to click go down click go down uh 1d view everything i think we got everything ladies and gentlemen okay thank you for watching this uh this took a while but when you're out there in the field and you're doing it like I was showing you with the uh, roll around computer and uh, man it's easy and fast to do this especially if you know those commands uh, uh, and I, uh, I, I did have I've already showed y'all about how to do your uh, cabinets you know that's on a different video and again guys I don't there's a lot more to what I'm showing y'all. This is just a preview of what you should learn and what is what of what you're gonna be doing out there. Thank you for watching this video. If you got any questions, let me get my Word document up here. Here's my email address. Uh, I help a bunch of adjusters out there. I've uh, I connect to their computers and help them. I actually do claims when they're, you know, uh, especially new adjusters. So there's my email. If you ever have a problem and can figure something out, more than likely, I think I can figure it out for you. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Follow me uh, with my other videos, and I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all.